Yo, what's going on guys? As you can tell if you watched my Spark video, this was a little gram I was after, and after months of saving up and suffering a lot, and then suffering through that really lackluster Spark, it wasn't the worst Spark, but pretty lackluster. If you haven't seen it, it will be in, in the end card of this video. Um, you may want to go check it out. Maybe something you want to watch. If you want to see me go through um, Hell and Back. Also, I saw my face in it. Oh my god. So if you haven't seen what I look like, you may want to go there. But at the end of that awful 30 minutes, <laughs> I did end up sparking Anella. Because Fire, Fire GW comes up in two months and I'm not playing without this character. So, <laughs> so let's talk about her. See, it's a really old character. She actually predates when I started playing this game. I started playing in April of 2016 and she came out in 2015. So a very old character. She did get a new bag of tricks with her five star, which was in 2018, I believe. Early 2018, around the beginning. I, I could be wrong about that, but I believe it was early 2018. I don't remember the exact date off the top of my head, but I believe early 2018. Now, she's a fire balance spear melee character. Upon getting her five star, she gains the melee proof, which is pretty cool. So, fist builds can run her and stuff, giving you a lot more options with her. Not bad, not bad. Now, her charge attack, she gains Basta Woo! I'm sorry. If you know Terry Bogard, her Ogi becomes something similar to his attack, which is pretty cool. Um. Upon using her Ogi, she gets a 1k sealed to the party. So it's a barrier. Not bad. Not bad. Um, could be better to Ogi. I mean, it's a free sealed. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Um, it doesn't really help Colossus builds, personally, in my opinion, because you ideally want to take damage. But after you take quite a bit of damage, it gains a little bit more value as you can stay at that threshold a little bit longer because you're not taking nearly as much damage. Now, all of creation is her first skill. Now, normally it was just a regular nuke that gained, that gave her 20% bonus damage against superior element. If you didn't know what that means, superior element means that whatever element the boss is, she will be the element that is strong against it. For example, if she was fighting a water boss, her superior element would kick in and her bonus damage will be earth even though her main attack is fire so yeah but upon leveling up to level 100 it gains a crap ton of debuffs gaining every attack down and every defense down why did they put 12 debuffs on one character i don't know ask side games but they decided yo what's a good idea to give a new Leg Fest 5 star. Oh, 12 debuffs in one button. Great idea. <laughs> so they give her 12 debuffs each element prior to wind attack, each element besides wind attack down and fire defense down is 10%. So that means fire um, attack, water attack, and all of them will be 10% down along with the defense downs. Now for uh, for wind attack and fire defense, it's 20% down and they have a higher base chance of hitting because that's the main element for her. So I guess they decided that that should be the ones that hit the most, which I also agree with. Also on top of that, because that wasn't enough, they decided to up her 20% to 40% because he needed more because 12 debuffs not enough need more give her more You can tell this character is pretty pretty strong. So yeah Surprisingly enough her skill 2 sees no change from her 4 star same delay so uh, Okay, delay is always good. You know, you don't want to take ogies if you don't have to Hidden Tiger, Crouching Dragon. i pretty sure it's Hidden Dragon, Crouching Tiger. I don't remember, but whatever. That's the name of her skill. 
is now changes from three turns to five turns. So the uptime on it is increased by two with now having a two turn downtime. Really good skill, does a lot of stuff, gives you charge bar speed, debuff resistance, attack, double attack, and your damage is slightly boosted for crits. If you want the actual percents, there's a wiki page. <laughs> I don't know if you want me to read you the percents, but it's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. The wiki, if you want to be Mr. Crunch the Numbers everywhere, well, I'll, the wiki will be in the description if you want to crunch the numbers. But just know it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, it feels weird. Normally, I would give you the numbers, but there's so much stuff there. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna be reading the, the wiki. And I just, let's go, I'm gonna read the wiki and we could just look up at the wiki. That's my opinion, but tell me how you guys feel about that. Now, on pawn being a four star unit, a five star unit in the game, she gains a fourth skill, and this fourth skill is a restore to all allies HP for 2000. Not bad heal, not the best heal in the game, but not bad for an balanced character upon using the heal you also gain boost to attack based on how high hp is aka stamina because there was not enough buffs in skill three so it was like yo we need more buffs okay let's give a fourth skill with buffs that heal because you <laughs> lena didn't need that you know rest in peace lena <laughs> oh yeah yeah this character bro mm -mm -mm. now the cooldown on this it's pretty hefty as it only lasts two turns so you're looking at a four turn cooldown where you, you don't have the buff up but even for the two turns that's a great boost better than nothing you cannot complain you get a heal and a buff in the one button it's like fun fun it's not as crazy as fun fun and fun fun is three five which is really really insane <laughs> <laughs> but that was after Fun Fun got buffed, so not bad, not bad character. Now her support skill um, was originally boost to all allies attack, and apparently they didn't think that was enough, so they gave her lesson damage taken from wind. I'm guessing wind attacks is what the best way to describe that. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Do note that that applies to all allies, so any ally that you have. They all take 10% less wind damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. And her extended mastery skill. See, it's the same one as Monkey. Slight chance of a one turn cut to skill cooldown with every one foe attack. And I think that's amazing because getting access to her Crouching Dragon and her skill for um, Fleets of Champions is really good. Especially Fleets of Champions because it has such a high cooldown. For the duration so really good really good her EMP skills though not so good not so good you definitely want to invest in the support skill this you can pretty much see where I'm going it's really rare that I have a character EMP'd mostly but I did have to slime her so I kind of got a lot of her EMPs while sliming her this is what I'm going with personally you can pretty much see where I'm going with everything I may invest more into defense because I don't really want to just stack attack. So that's about it. I think she has 15, 14 right now. But let's get to a fight with her because I'm pretty sure you want to look at. So be right back. Okay, so this is run number 9001. <laughs> I've done more runs with this team than any team I've ever done so far. And it's mainly due to my main character missing debuffs all the time time i can't believe it's possible to miss debuffs that much as if i miss them and that could last i don't know 40 minutes <laughs> so hopefully i can hit my debuffs i'm praying i'm praying hard but you can see here i am running a ultima fist main hand if you did not know i made the fist uh, a couple months ago i don't remember the exact date but it's a few months prior to me getting anilla this was one of the main characters I wanted to showcase with the fist, but I was just not able to acquire her till recently, as in a couple days ago. So now it's the time to finally get it done. And I, boy, I tell you, it, it is hard, man. I'll tell you that right now. 
It is. It is. Not easy. <laughs> At least hitting debuffs is not as easy as I would hope it to be. I'm having a hard time, honestly. So, a little depressed about that. Also, finding it a little bit hard to take a lot of damage on this team. So that's why I put the Prometheus Staff on. Because you don't take a lot of damage. You are actually still heavily reliant on crit, as you can tell there. I didn't actually cap defense down. But I forgot to use Colossus. So rest in peace of that. But still, we were close to capping defense now. About 5% off. We'll hit a little bit harder now, though. If we hit crit. Cute. Hitting crit is too hard, man. Please nerf. So we're going to heal up here. Um, guess we'll just... Oh, he doesn't really matter that much. Of course, I forgot to swamp my Ogi, but you can see the fast Ogi right there. It just goes right into Buster Wolf. It's really cool. The full Ogi is more of a, like a, a slash into it. So we'll see you in a minute. I'm gonna use the sun right now. There's no reason not to. May as well use tag team too. Doesn't hurt. And if you're wondering, no, tag team does not activate twice with um the autos. I wish them. That's actually a turn one Ogi. Wow. One turn and everybody we got a full charge. Pretty cool. Good synergy with the sun and tag and uh, tag team. So far, we've been lucky with our debuffs. So I don't want to jinx anything if I can avoid it. That's why I'm not. I'm kind of scared because I've I've been missing my debuffs a lot. So it's been rather annoying. I'm not too happy with it. But right now we're hitting them. You see that grade of damage drops a lot because the grade is really relying on crit. Um, you definitely see the damage drops. At least until the health bar drops, which we currently have right now. Now that our health dropped a little bit, it should be a lot easier to cap even without crit. That should be fine. So you can see right there. But you gotta keep in mind that Draco Force for Greya is a big damage boost for her. So that's why her damage was so high. It's not the normal. Though it's, it has pretty good uptime. Math going to Ogi this turn, I believe. Uh, yeah. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that my team is ready to skip the 75, 25 trigger. As it does quite a bit of damage, not a ton, but enough to kill you, provided you're not ready for it. I'm actually kind of scared right now, but I feel like I'm going to hit it. And there's no way around it. Yeah, there's no way around it. Uh, oh well. Yep, no way around it. I guess we use Typhon. Oh well. Use skill. I was hoping to dodge it if I could, but yeah, no way around it. Like we're right at the trigger. Hopefully it doesn't kill me, but with Anilla, Anilla helps a ton here, so we should be fine. I definitely like the team. Um, I don't like Luchador, honestly. It's not a class I like. Hopefully Magical Knight can have a better ability when it comes to solo gameplay. As I'm more of a solo player myself, so I am looking forward to that. Hopefully though, hopefully. Dragon Force is gone, so we didn't get the um We didn't get that bonus damage from Rhea. Sad face. 
But this would be the end of the fight. We're still in the same situation where we still need to have low health on fire to really see damage. So, at least with this team. I'm gonna try other teams. I'll be also doing Grimnir solo if I, if I didn't mention that earlier. Pretty sure I did though. So. Look out for that. It'd be a live stream. I, I don't really like soloing bosses off live stream anymore as most of these bosses could take up to like 20 to 40 minutes. So I, I don't wanna be sitting there talking to myself for 40 minutes. It's, <laughs> it's not that fun. But if you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments. Um, tell me how you guys feel about the damage. What do you guys think? I know it does help Magna a lot. I feel like it wasn't the best showcase though overall. Uh, so I will be doing more raids with Anilla if you're looking forward to it. Her and a Berserker team, because that's probably what most people are going to be running. Because I don't think everyone has an Ultima Fist. So look out for that. And if you liked the video, thanks. I'll see you guys next time.